coming at you on the Thursday. Kind of mid mid January now, sixteenth of Jan. Um not a whole lot on the calendar. Today we do have retail sales out of the US and we do have a rate announcement from South Africa. These are gonna be some some focuses here. Um take a look at this um this Euro Swiss chart to start. We we sent a little Twitter out there talking about how the SNB is making it very clear they don't they don't really care about being called a currency manipulator. Um, they've obviously been buying Euro-based fixed income to support Euro Swiss for years now. Uh, f you know, eight, ten years. Obviously, five years ago was the big moment at 120 but they have an unlimited ability to buy euros um, they can print their own currency they can take rates as negative as they like and they're stubborn right I don't think people understand uh, the mentality of the Swiss as well as they think they do stubborn is not really the, the right word I don't know what the right word is it's like stubborn combined it's like a milkshake. You put stubbornness, practicality, and uh, a selfish desire to protect oneself in a blender, and that's kind of uh, the way to describe the, sort of the Swiss mentality here. Um, the reason I say this now is uh, this has come a long way relatively quickly for Euro Swiss uh, and now we see the bar from two days ago you can really see it people started actively selling Euro Swiss um, what I think is going to be at the low of the range so people are going to get caught short Euro Swiss at the lows here uh, why you would sell Euro Swiss actively uh, on the 107 handle uh, doesn't doesn't really make much sense to me unless we're going into some sort of uh, global political uh, crisis or war or something like that there's no reason to be doing this here and even if even if we were going into a war um, not sure why you would just sell euro swiss here anyway so we're patiently waiting we're not long yet uh, we're patiently waiting looking for the turn we need price now to confirm our intuition um, but uh, we have our eyes firmly fixed on Euro Swiss here, uh, looking looking for a turn. Let's take a look at Euro Yen. Uh, these tops now at 75 are interesting. Also, these lows here at 20 are interesting. Um, let's take it to the hourlies. So we have a market now that's long Euro Yen, comfortably long. A lot of places to get long. 120.50 was a spot. 122, the figure was a spot. Um, 121.50 also paid. So systems are comfortably long euro yen after after the Iran news, um, and we just have to see now. Um, the yen market reminds me of WWE wrestling in the in the 1980s when uh, the sleeper hold came into play I'm not a huge wrestling fan but back when I was 12 uh, 1982 Jimmy Superfly Snuka and those guys uh, was kind of amusing for me but the sleeper hold came into play and I feel like the yen market is is in this sort of sleep mode so it's got someone has the sleeper hold on dollar yen here but these are very very important moments we've talked about this trend line that every single person in the world is watching uh, I get asked about it every day uh, which is a telltale sign as well as just you know your eight-year-old daughter uh, can draw this line and it's no disrespect to all those of you with eight-year-old daughters. I'm just saying that it's an obvious line to draw. It's a clean line. 
uh, if you're a technician or a trend follower it's it's a it's a pretty line uh, and there will be action above this line from long-term trend followers there is some question out there as to actually who is left trading currencies. A lot of the funds are closed now. Uh, a lot of the big players have, have uh, put the guns down. So there is a question of that. But um, one has to respect this and keep an eye on it, right? So we broke 109.70 on Monday. And we've just basically sat here 85.05 now for two days in dollar yen. Euro yen has kind of eased up on the euro because of the euro side of the of things, um, but this is either going to fail miserably up here, or this is going to break this line and extend uh, aggressively. We think so. A lot of the market participants now, I think, are are leaning on fail. So a lot of people are saying, okay, this has run out of steam. Uh, dollar yen is not going to make it above 110, which leads us to believe that the side to trade on is the other side, right? Complacency that creates consensus, uh, or consensus based on complacency, is is a dangerous thing in FX. So, euro yen through 122.75 dollar yen through 11021 this is where this is of great interest for us so we'll be watching this closely uh, whether it's going to be driven by US yields could be driven by the US stock market could be driven by uh, flow it doesn't really matter uh, what's driving it uh, we will not be sitting on the sidelines if we're trading up at 10921 I mean 11021 excuse me so just something to watch obviously if you're a bear you want to be short in front of this line um, if you are a momentum trader or a trend follower you want to add through this line uh, enough said about that euro yen and dollar yen key levels uh, hanging around if you like to be short risk uh, you just I get the feeling this Aussie yen is kind of running out of puff here, um, but we're in this holding pattern now. Got up to 08 last night, which is kind of the same high. Obviously, if Euro yen and Dollar yen pop, Aussie yen will pop as well. Uh, but Aussie yen may be a safer sale if you're in the camp that the trade deal is done by the rumor sell the fact if you're in that camp Aussie yen is your horse we are not in that camp uh, but I'm just pointing it out um, Aussie yen will have the most aggressive turn for a lot of reasons um, and one of the main reasons is is this deal going to reduce exports from Australia to China this is this theme is is out there um, sort of secondary effects of the trade deal if China has to buy all this crap from America who were they buying it from before and if they're not gonna buy it from them uh, is this gonna create pain this is a theme that's out there just sharing uh, what else is going on euro we continue to suspect that this is going to float higher. Uh, retail sales out today in the U.S. could help this. Boond yields could help this. Um, but in general, nothing's going on here, so we don't we don't have a euro dollar position. It's dead middle of the range. It's kind of tired, crappy trading. So we're not we're not super focused on it. Euro sterling same same thing we like euro and all the euro crosses higher we like euro cat higher euro Aussie higher euro sterling higher this looks like a slow and painful grind uh, things might get exciting if we uh, can get through this sort of 
people are going to call this a head and shoulders. You know, you get this long shoulder here, this head here. We're going to have a long shoulder here, so maybe up through 84 uh, could be the bingo number here. Uh, finally, today uh, we have the uh, South African Reserve Bank decision. As I posted on Twitter, RBC seems to think they're going to cut. Uh, you got to tip your hat to the RBC research uh, group there. I've been reading bank research for, for 30 years. Um, these guys have been consistently uh, good. Uh, so I have a lot of respect for that little group of researchers there. They understand FX pretty well. They're not afraid to make a call. Um, they're looking for a cut today. Consensus is, consensus is for no change. Certainly, there's no way um, these guys are going to be hawkish or bullish or positive about what's going on in South Africa. We all know it's a clusterfuck over there. Um, so, I don't have a particular trade in mind, but I will be watching this 1450 area. As you can see, this was the low we talked about in the fourth quarter last year. It's an interesting pivot. Um, two days ago, I didn't even see that, but we got up to 1449.86. Interesting pivot, 1450. Not too much else to say here. Um, like I said, we're watching this, uh, these yen crosses. We're watching dollar yen. Um, we're being patient here. We've got retail sales out of the U.S., which might create some opportunities. That's in about six hours. And then we have... Um, South African wages today. We also have the Philly Fed um, outlook and uh, I guess um, Madame Lagarde is uh, speaking today, the head of the ECB. Um, so we're going to have to keep an eye on what she says but she's not really in a position now to make any wild uh, statements as a newbie still, she'll be conservative um, and just toe the party line and be mildly positive, sort of ECB cheerleader for now. We don't expect anything aggressive from her um, till she settles in. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there. Listen, if you like our stuff, click the thumbs up buttons or whatever. Make your comments. Um, subscribe, all that business. Um, and great, we're done here. Have a good day trading, people. Uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.